Hello everyone, I'm Marty Pospisil and welcome to the beautiful Uptown neighborhood or otherwise known as Glenbrook North in New Westminster. Um, we are standing in front of uh, 840 5th Street in New Westminster, a beautiful restored, fully restored 1910 character home. So early century character home at 845th Street on the market today for $1,398,000, an incredible, incredible value. Um, this beautiful home is situated in this great neighborhood. You're within walking distance of, um, you've got Mercer Stadium and track. We've got, if you just pan down the street there, about a half block away, we've got the famous pie hole restaurant, which you're all gonna wanna visit when you're in the neighborhood, best pies in the whole neighborhood. We've got a Walmart close by, a London Drugs. We've got uh, Mercer Stadium Park as well. Um, lots and lots of green space, including Moody Park. We've also got Hans One Ton House within walking distance here um, of this great home. You've got barbers, shops, services, cafes, everything walking distance here in this great uptown neighborhood. Let's go in and have a look at this beautiful home at 8 Four zero Fifth Street in New Westminster. Again, this has just hit the market for uh, one one point four million, effectively um, fully restored. You're going to be amazed at how nice this home is. It's got all the original character of the home, but fully restored to modern standards. You've got a beautiful veranda up up front where you can sit out and enjoy a morning coffee and take a look at your neighborhood. Um, now come on inside and let's have a look here. One of the things you'll notice as you come in is we've got period correct lighting throughout the home. That's about 1910, early 1900 lighting that is matched in all the rooms. We have custom installed, to get my glasses off so I can see, custom installed hardwood throughout. We've got oak throughout the main floor of the home. And this oak flooring, as you can see when you walk through, has been installed. It's solid oak. It's hand laid with detailed inlays, you can see. They call them French knots in all the corners. See if we can get a shot of the corner up here. This is really hard work to do. This is all hand done when this home was fully restored. Fantastic, fantastic. I think it's walnut, the inlay that's used on those floors. Really, really well done. So it's all custom flooring. And on the stairs and upstairs, we've got fur flooring. That's that really warm, rich fur floor that we see. So that's fantastic. And uh, one of the things I'll notice here um, as we come in is you've got your custom um, uh, molding. You've got crown molding on the top. You've got custom baseboard. Um, these are called um, plinth. Um, the bases that come up here, we've got a custom built balustrade on the stairwell. You can see there's a lot of custom woodwork that's done in this home um, and it's done extremely well. It's not rushed. It's not done on the cheap at all. So as we come in, sorry, I missed a room here as we came in through the front, front foyer. We have one bedroom here just off the foyer. Let's have a look at that. Notice the high ceilings. Now I'm just under six feet. These must be at least 10 foot ceilings, if not higher. Again, period lighting, beautiful rooms. And did you notice the stained glass that we've got on the windows here? You'll notice that throughout the home. Fabulous, fabulous. Uh, it looks as though it's original stained glass windows. All the windows were upgraded in the home, but I believe that the stained glass was originally inset into the wood windows. So I believe the previous owner um, retained that character in the home. And we've got our, our foyer closet. So you've got an entry closet here. And then we've got our second bedroom with its own closet. Again, all upgraded argon filled double glazed windows throughout the home. So you've got that original character of 1910, but you've got all the modern conveniences of new windows, upgraded electrical, mechanicals, 
Um, you've got the original lighting um, from the period, not from the home, but from the period restored. So really well matched up. And again, new flooring throughout the home. You've got a little bit of storage under the stairs there, extra storage. And then you've got your dining area here with a beautiful uh, period correct dining fixture. Again, all new windows, all new flooring, crown molding, baseboard throughout. And then you've got, in addition to the dining area, you've also got an island on your kitchen. Now this countertop that you see here on this island and throughout the kitchen is called Galatica Blue, and it is a natural stone. Now you may not be able to pick this up on the video, Check out these light fixtures, just fantastic. Um, but you can see a bit of a blue hue on certain parts of the stone, and it is a natural stone, it's quite beautiful. If you hit the light properly, you'll see some of the blue highlighted here. Um, very expensive countertop. We've got marble on the back of the kitchen for the backsplash. We've got a all new appliances, of course, a gas range. Um, marble backsplash and all the cabinets are solid maple custom built cabinets throughout these are solid maple we've got lots of storage we've got the soft closed drawers as you can see and again that oak flooring was carried right into the kitchen and of course gas cooking so very very nice kitchen extra eating area here and We've got a bathroom off here, a nice four-piece bathroom. And again, all the tiling in there is redone, custom tile floor as upstairs, custom tiled shower. Um, we've got uh, a marble uh, area of uh, uh, heritage vanity with a marble top on that. So really well finished, all keeping correct for that early century look. And again, just walking out of the kitchen, the dining area, you've got that sort of great room feel and you see all the stained glass as you're coming through, just beautiful. And all that woodwork, beautiful. And these uh, plinth blocks, as I mentioned, this is all custom made uh, and done properly by a professional uh, carpenter. Great. So let's head up these great um, new fur steps that were put into the home. We've seen two bedrooms on the main floor. Um, we're going to see the master bedroom up here. So as you enter on the top and the landing, uh, the current owner is using this space as a little office area. So this is a great area for, for an office. This is the entry into the attic area. See, it's fully insulated. Very well insulated here. The whole home is re-insulated. Top grade insulation. Um, so you're not going to get any heat escaping out of this area for sure. Advantages. 1910, they weren't really insulating that well. I think they used newspaper. Um, so walking into the master, beautiful master, great sized room. Let's see what do we got here for the master. Um, we've got 16.1 by 18.9, so a giant room. We've got lots of storage. We've got a double closet just behind you there. Um, we've got a walk-through area. We're going to go have a look at that shortly, but that could be a walk-in closet. Again, you've got some stained glass. We'll just have a little peekaboo out the window. You do get some great mountain views. You can see the snow in the mountains. Really nice view of this uptown neighborhood. I won't start singing Uptown Girl because I don't know all the words, but it's a good song. If you lived here, you could play that song every day. <laughs> So um, let's go from the master. Again, you've got double closet over there for storage, another closet here. You've got another attic access hatch there, fully insulated. Now this was designed to be a walk-in closet. So you can just call in one of those closet companies to come in and build custom um, closets or storage space in this room. Very, very useful if you like to have a lot of storage. And then we've got a great, great master suite bathroom again all custom built tiled beautiful floral pattern um, tiles that were put in again matching the circa 1910 home um, we've got a heritage vanity with a marble top 
We got a beautiful soaker tub. And if you're really into soaking in the soaker tub, I'll show you how this works. Yeah, you kind of sit in the tub like this. You can have your breakfast here, your coffee, and you could be looking at the beautiful sunrise. Just have to maybe close the window when you stand up or not. Um, so that's kind of cool. These are really great tubs. And you can have a shot of the backyard out there through the window. Beautiful done home. Really, really nice natural light. Fantastic. I just love the bathrooms. And all, this is all new. This is not original tile work and, and bathroom. It's all newly restored over the last few years. So we'll walk back out through the master. Again, great space. I don't know if you notice the skylight here. The blinds actually closed, but if you open that blind, you're going to get a lot more natural light pouring into here. You got a beautiful custom new balustrade that was built when upstairs um, was refloored. Um, and it's all fur. Love the tone and texture of the fur. And uh, so there's three bedrooms, obviously, two in the main. We got two bathrooms. We got a, an extra bedroom upstairs. We got two dining areas, modern brand new kitchen. Uh, and downstairs we have a one bedroom basement suite with some shared space. We're gonna go down there very quickly and show you the basement. Um, it hasn't been updated for some years, so it's mostly original, not 1910 original, but probably original from when it was finished. So we've got some shared storage. This is upstairs. Oh, one thing I will point out here is we have a high efficiency furnace, that's new. We have an on-demand instant hot water, uh, and that's a great system. That's a Navion system, very, very efficient. So you're never gonna run out of hot water when the kids are showering all day. You're still gonna have hot water. Uh, we've got some understair storage here, and that's got a barn door um, on that, so you've got extra storage. This, now we're, we're in a shared common area where there's laundry, um, an extra freezer, so we've got washer dryer in the left. We'll go through here very quickly. Here's the one bedroom suite. Hello, kitty. We've got a four piece bath, sorry, three piece bathroom, kitchen, living area. Just get a quick shot of this living area. Uh, and then we've got a couple closets as you walk by and the bedroom. I'll let you have a quick shot down there in the bedroom and then we can head outside. Take a look at the yard and all the goodies out there. Okay, so that is the basement suite. It's currently tenanted, very, very good tenants. They're happy to stay here in the home uh, if you're interested in having that revenue. And we'll head back up to the main floor. There is, of course, a separate entrance there. Um, but we'll go back up and head out through the back deck. Now you're going to love the backyard. It's a south facing backyard. Oh, we've got to grab our shoes. Let's grab our shoes quickly. There we go. Head out the back door here. And um, one thing I will point out is we're on a 49 by 138 and a half foot lot. So a giant yard. You can see we've got a beautiful view here, fully drenched with natural sunlight in the backyard. Got a small little deck on the top there and a big patio area here. There's additional storage up front, under the front uh, stairs. Um, this is, according to the sellers, a pear tree. And he gets about 100 pounds of pears off of this tree every year. So if you're into pears, that's a nice bonus. We've got a beautiful roto here in the yard. And then there's this 10 by 10 shed. So if you need extra space for garden material or you want to have storage for your sports equipment, your bikes, or anything like that, that is a great storage shed to have. And that's over and above the garage. So you can see, now we're going to head into the garage. 
garage is fully serviced electrical and uh, it's currently being used as a, as a workshop. So really, really good space in here in the garage. I believe you've got uh, full electrical for all the equipment here being used in the shop. It's obviously a double garage. Um, you've got, yeah, let's open the door here and have a look in the lane. So you can see this is all very well lit, good workspace, great for parking your cars or to use as a workshop. And if we head into the lane, you'll see nicely paved lane up and down, easily accessing your double garage. And again, it's a 49 um, width lot. So you've got lots of frontage on the lot um, to have this space and still a yard. So that's nice. Um, you can see the owner did a lot of restoration work right here in the garage. I'll just close that. And then upstairs, if you want to have a quick look, there's some additional storage in the garage attic space. So great space for your luggage or stuff you're not accessing, you know, the wedding dress, uh, the treasure chest, all of that stuff that you're not going to access very often. You got lots of storage up there or what a great area for the kids to play in if they're interested in making forts and stuff. So that's your second level of your garage. And um, again, we've got uh, fully serviced, fully lit, great, great space here. I'm a big garage fan if you have lots of toys. Um, so we'll, we'll hit that. You can see this is all properly done with drainage, good foundation. It's lifted up above the ground. Um, and that is more or less our backyard. Oh, couple other things. These three bushes are blueberry bushes and then there's a cute little cherry tree which actually produces cherries at the end of that. Um, great garden. Again, lots of light so you're going to get lots of um, good garden space here if you're into gardening. We're going to begin showing this home this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and I believe Tuesday. Just give our office a call um, or email us. We'd be happy uh, to set up a time to get you through this beautiful home. Oh, almost fell right through <laughs> this chair. Um, and what a great space for you to sit out and enjoy your afternoon um, sunshine on the back deck. We've got a boot bottle of uh, looks like moonshine here that the owner has left us. Um, I'll have a, a little test of this. <coughs> uh, you know, quite uh, 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 interesting oops flavor on that. You might enjoy um, drinking maybe some finer wines <laughs> on the back um, porch, but really the emphasis is on this beautiful 1910 home. Um, fully restored, modern conveniences in the home, beautiful character, and in a great, great neighborhood. Uh, we'd love to bring you through in a private showing. Um, just contact us. We do have some time slots available over the weekend to get you through. Um, and I really enjoyed having you along for the tour today. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for joining us. This is Marty Pospisil. Stay safe, and we'll be in touch in the next video.